Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever wondered if you are in denial about a guy that you're with who's not good for you, maybe your friends have told you, your family has told you, even parts of you believe that it might be the case, but you just can't seem to understand what's going on, well, you are in luck because on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five signs that this might be the case, so stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I help conscious and intelligent, heart centered, accomplished women to create the relationship that you want, not as a result of manipulation or gimmicks or fake texting strategies, but as a result of you stepping into the most alive, the most wholesome, the most worthy version of yourself. Listen, I talk to a lot of women who are in relationships that are not just painful, but absolutely destructive towards their love future and their love present, but they are in denial about it. And what I want to do today is share with you five signs that this is the case. The first sign that you might be in a relationship that is painful and destructive towards you, but you're in denial, is that you feel like you are the only one who understands this man. You feel like the world is against you, like nobody gets what's going on, your family is wrong, your friends are wrong, and only you understand the nature of why this guy has certain flaws. And sometimes these flaws are things that are absolutely unsustainable. Maybe he has a drug addiction, maybe he can't keep a job, maybe he's abusive verbally or emotionally, maybe he disappears for days on end and then he reappears. There's something that's absolutely painful towards you, but you feel like because you, you're the only one who gets him. And since you're the only one who gets him, you almost like have this, this loyalty to being with him. Um, and uh, if you're not with him, then he'll be alone in the world, right? If that's the case, if you feel like you're the one who gets him, it's the first sign that you might be in a delusional relationship. Second is you realize that you are making excuses for him left and right. You can't start a sentence talking about the last thing he did, the last thing he said, his situation in life, his situation with his parents, uh, his something or other without having to disclaim why it is the way it is. When you notice that you have to make up excuses for him, that's a sign that you might be in denial. Third sign that you might be in denial is you feel that the reason that you're with him is because you love him so much, even though he's bad for you. If you know that this guy is bad for you in many ways, but you, you can't seem to get outside of the, I mean, you can't seem to break it up. And you're telling yourself that it's just love. That's another clear sign. Why? Because many times there's attachment beyond love. Sometimes there's enablement. Sometimes there's an addiction towards pain. Sometimes the, your definition of love, your emotional definition of love is a painful one dark one and when you connect with him you actually get to relieve that version of love that you feel even though it's not good for you and you keep telling yourself that you're with him because you love him so much when in reality you're afraid of letting go because you feel like nothing will ever ex be experienced at this level or maybe because the intensity you're experiencing is something that you can't experience on your own or for some reason that has nothing to do with love but first but you've ma managed to convince yourself that it's only love number four you have distanced yourself from your friends and from your family, even though your friends and family are healthy, good individuals. Now, I'll be the first to say that if your family is not great, if your family is comprised of judgmental a-holes, uh, and the friends that you're with right now are friends that you've, you needed to get rid of years ago, but you stuck with them, and they don't like your guy, well, then choose your guy. But if you connect with healthy individuals as friends, and you have a healthy family and they have distanced themselves from you because of who you've become as a result of being with him or because they just can't stand the way this guy treats you or the way the things he does that you actually that you accept in your life right now then that's a sign that you might be in a delusional relationship where your friends can see the reality and you're in the middle of it thinking that it's them against you or for some reason they just want your unhappiness when what they want is nothing but your happiness and they know that there's no fucking way you can create it with a guy who has the traits that this guy has. Number five, you fail to pass the girlfriend litmus test. Let me explain what this one is. Imagine that your best friend or a daughter of yours shows up 
and she says, here's what's going on in my life. And they start describing the behavior and the situation emotionally, spiritually, financially that the guy that you're in has. If you have a double standard where you would tell them, run away from this man, but because you're in the relationship, you basically say, well, uh, no, I should stay, then that's failure to pass the girlfriend slash daughter litmus test. Okay, if, if a friend of yours says, hey, here's a dude that lives with his parents, even though he's 40, he can't call the job, he disappears, uh, even though he tells me he's exclusive, he's still dating on other websites. If you connect with a guy like this and you would tell a girlfriend, run away from this man, but somehow you've told yourself that you should stay, then that's another clear sign that you're in denial about a guy that is not good for you. Hope, my dear, that these are helpful to you. If they are, if you find this insightful in some way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things, okay? Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you can be reminded of new episodes. I'm about to reach 100,000 subscribers in the next maybe month and a half, two months, and I want you to be part of this movement. So please do that. Uh, I'll be giving something away when I reach that milestone. And anyone who's a subscriber right now will be able to participate. Just that's all I'm saying right now. Um, third thing, and most important of all, if you like what I'm sharing with you right now, if you feel this is helpful, insightful, useful in some way, and you want to understand how to create the relationship you want with less pain and more ease, then on the first line of the description of this video, there's a link that will take you to a masterclass that will share all of this with you. It's absolutely free. Now, if you're saying, Bern, I love the videos, I love the insights, I feel at some level with my intuition that you could help me get what I want, then and you want real hand-holding. You don't just want to watch videos, you want to understand how to create this life with some real support. Then there's another link under the description of this video that will share with you how you can apply for a call with me where we can connect one-on-one -on -one and figure out if we're the right fit to work together. If we are, I'll invite you to my program and uh, I can help you get much more of what you want. If we're not, we're part as friends. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. Mwah.